Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at Palm Desktop and connecting to Windows 10 with your Palm. We're going to use this M505 to connect and there'll be another video, the link will be up here, showing how to do it with a serial connecting Palm. For example, the Palm 5 or Palm Pilot. Let's get on with it. Connecting a Palm to Windows 10 is nice and straightforward, unlike with the Pocket PC or handheld PC, there's no messing about. We're going to use the M505 and we're connecting to the Pocket 7 by GPD. So, um, to get started we want the right version of Palm Desktop. We want 4.104, I've left the link in the description. The reason we want this one is because it connects directly with USB, unlike the version that's shipped with the M-Series CD, um, that only connects with Serial. So let's get it installed. We've got to have US English, there is no UK English install on this. Here we are. So let's hit next. Of course we accept all your terms and conditions, we're not even going to read them, nobody ever does. Um, no, we're not going to connect to the internet, we're not bothered about that, and there is nothing at the other end on the internet anyway. Next and install. have it. So finish. It's going to prompt us to connect. So next. I'm going to name it test. That's fine. And we're going to sync just with Palm Desktop. Oh, this has got a previous install in it. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll connect everything. That's fine. Great. Let's turn on the palm, pop the backlight on, and synchronize. Connects nicely. The first synchronization does take a long time, so we'll let it run its thing. Great, so that's the first synchronization done. And um, so we're just going to, yes, that's fine, it responds fine, whatever, blah, blah. So now that's done, let's have a look at installing some files. So we're going to install the Power One calculator. Double clicking will bring up the quick installer. Of course, we give it permission. Uh, as you can see, it didn't actually add it. Um, and this is something to do with Windows 10, um, but you can simply click Add Files and navigate to it and install it that way. Once that's done, you can add more files if you wish. Once that's done, it should send it across next time we do a hot sync. So let's make sure that that's working. So let's just check that that's worked. And there it is, Power One. Yeah, whatever. So that's installed nicely. On the M505 CD comes Documents to Go. And um, it doesn't matter which version of Documents to Go you use, it will not work under Windows 10. Or at least I've been unable to get it to work under Windows 10. You can install the files on the Palm but you cannot get it to synchronize files between the desktop and the palm itself. If you use the later documents to go, you can of course create files on your palm and it will read native Excel and Word files as long as they're in the uh, older doc and XLS format. And this means you can simply transfer them to and from manually on your memory card. Let's take a look at palm desktop. 
So here we are, it's a calendar view, and we'll just open it up a little bit. We've got the months on the right hand side with contacts below, although that can be swapped for tasks if you prefer. So we'll pop an entry in. Looks good. And then just like on the palm, we can actually change what it says. We can delete it, edit the event, set a repeat, change its category, or we're going to add a note. So we'll pop the note in. That's great. And we can see the note icon appear, so we know that there's a note in there. There's a couple of views, so we can have a week view. We can have a month view. And we can have a year view. Although that's just the calendar. So it's useful to be able to see the writing in the month and week views. And we'll go back to the main view and have a look at the menu options. So we can open the archive. This is where all the deleted items go. We can import, export, page setup and print. There's the usual edit options, including new event. We can change view. And under tools, we can choose the categories and users and we can purge events. This allows us to delete events older than a certain amount of time and these will be then saved in the archive. Under options, we can change the startup application as well as the location storage. Um, under security, we can add a password so other people can't access our desktop. Um, we can set automatic alarms and we can change themes. Oh, cinnamon rose, nice. So under tools as well on options, we have da -da -da, auto save options and we can check for corrupt files. Under preferences, we've got when the weekday begins, nobody starts work at eight o'clock. So we'll change that to nine. And as for the week, it starts on a Monday, not a Sunday. So that's fine, we'll set those. Next up, we've got the contacts. So I'll pop it on the list view. This is the view that we have on the handheld. And we've also got a business card view, large icons, small icons, and the photo view, not that I've got any photos. Tasks, very much like on the handheld. And so we'll create a new task. And once we've done that at the top, we can set repeats, we can add notes, uh, or we can change its category. We can set the priority and of course, set the day for it to occur. Bottom left lets you set a handheld alarm. That's good, so we've got memos. These are the standard ones that are built in. Again, we've got a couple of different views, list, large icon, small icon. Um, but that's fine. We've got quick install and of course we've got this mail which we've not set up. Well I hope you've enjoyed that brief overview of Palm Desktop and connecting to Windows 10 with your Palm. It goes to show that these handles can still be used these days. If you've enjoyed this video um, please don't forget to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And um, also, if you do have any comments or there's anything you'd like to see coming up, please put a message below. I'll be happy to respond. Thank you very much and bye for now.